Saint Thomas English Medium Higher Secondary School Class Seventh Subject Computer by Richard Berg. Hello, students. I welcome you all to this classroom. Let's start with Chapter Number Three: Creating Charts in MS Excel. Lesson Number Three: Creating Charts in MS Excel. Children, in this chapter, we will study types of charts, components of a chart, creating a chart, and formatting a chart. Types of charts. Now, children, you can create a chart from the data entered in a worksheet. You will use the data data to create charts of different types. It shows the expenditure by four departments of Company A over two years. One. Year one and year two. Line chart. A line chart compares trends in data as at equal intervals. Line charts are useful for dispecting the change in a value over a period of time. They are they are a good choice when you have many points to plot or when data trends are important. Line charts are usually used to show production of say production or sales trends over a period of time. Column chart. A column chart shows changes in data over a period of time, or it illustrate compare comparison comparisons among items. Categories are organized horizontally and values vertically. In a column chart, each data point in a series is represented by a by a column that rises from the x-axis. Column charts are useful when the heights of the individual point is more important than the trend in a series. Cylinder cones and pyramid charts. Column charts have various subtypes: cylinder cone, cylinders. Cone and pyramid charts give a dramatic 3D effects. Bar chart. A bar chart also illustrates comparisons among individual items. Categories are organized vertically and values horizontally. A bar chart can be described as a column chart drawn sideways. Scatter charts. A scatter chart plots each data point with a marker. Unlike a line chart, the x-axis of the scatter charts are numbers and not text labels. So x-axis tick mark are spaced according to their values and not just evenly spaced along the axis. The scatter charts are useful to plot relations between relationship between linked sets of numbers. For example, height, weight, and price scales. Okay, the point on the scatter chart can be connected with a line, but it is often used without connecting lines. You might use a scatter chart when your chart has many data points, but there is no particular trend in their rise and fall. Pie chart. Now, children, a pie chart is used to plot data from a single data series. A pie chart shown is present the expenditure figures for year one. Each data point is represented by one slice of the circular pie chart. The size of each slice is proportional to the value is represents. So all the data points taken together make a complete circle. Donut chart. Now, children, a donut chart shows the relation of a part to a whole. Unlike a pie chart, it can contains more than one data series. Each ring of the document chart represents represent a data series. In the chart shown in the inner ring is for one year expenditure figure, and the outer one is of the for the year two. Area chart. Now, children. A uh, area chart is similar to the line chart, but the data pointer marker are not displayed, and the area beneath the line is filled with color. You can also plot series one on top of another, producing a total. An area chart emphasizes the magnitude of chart of change in data over time. It is mainly used for representing scales and production figures. 
rather chart now children rather chart plots data in concretic circles each data series is plotted along a separate axis for the center point to the outer ring line connect values from the same series 3d surface chart a 3d chart creates a three dimensional views of data the topographic map is an example of this type of chart components of a chart we have seen the different types of chart that are possible for the same data set children let us understand the various component of a chart here data series data series it refers to the many data entries from which a chart is derived x axis it is horizontal axis of the chart it is also known as the category axis y axis y axis it is a vertical axis of the chart it is also known as a value axis the value of each data point is plotted on its axis chart title it is usually placed at the top of the chart and helps the user understand what the chart represent axis title it is the x it is a title gives you, given to an x axis a 2d graph has two axes and a 3d one has three axes that is a x y and z chart area it refers to the area within which all chart components are found here it is surrounded by an dashed line plot area it is a rectangular area bounded by two axes the x axis and the y axis defines the two sides of the rectangular plot area legend the it identifies the data series a unique color or platter pattern is assigned to each data series to make it easier to distinguish them visually grid lines lines that runs across the plot area from each category on the x axis from the each value on the y axis you can choose whether the whether to display them or not they make it easier to identify the values of each data point on the chart data label a data a label that provides additional information about a data point on a chart charts in 3d have a base area known as the floor and the vertical areas known as the walls so children therefore the two walls and the and the floor makes up the plot area in a 3d chart creating a chart now children that we are familiar with chart types and the chart components let us create a chart we first need to enter enter data into a worksheet in this example we will use the data from enter the data and select the range from which we will make the chart okay then children the components the compo the commands for creating charts are in the charts group of the insert tab click column to insert a column chart now children the third move we will step move to click clustered column in the drop down list it is the first from left in the 2d uh, column selection then children excel graph that graph the data in a 2d column chart and places the chart in the box in the center of the worksheet you can change the size of the chart by dragging it corner corners you can also move it to the different part of the worksheet by dragging it dragging the white background now children this is how it is done then the next we will move to then is click cluster column in the drop down list it is first from the left in the 2d column section excel graph the enter the data in the 2d column chart and place the chart in the box in the center of the worksheet you can change the size of the chart by dragging its corner and you can move it to the different part of the worksheet by dragging the white background you will see that the three new chart tools tabs have appeared on the ribbon design layout and format and then click move chart in the location group of the design tab then children the move chart dialog box appears click new sheet and type a new name for the new sheet let us name the new sheet column chart the chart is moved to the new sheet in the workbook named column chart 
the chart is autom auto automatically scaled to fill the entire page in landscape orientation. Then children, click layout 3 in the chart layout group of the design tab. This layout adds the title to the top, top center of the chart and moves the legend to the bottom center. Then children, double click chart title and type result analysis. Then click outside the title area to deselect the title text. Chart styles. You can format Excel chart components to make a chart look good. Excel also provides ready-made chart style with a professional appearance. To see them all, click the move arrow at the bottom right of the chart style group in the design tab. Now children, you can try different chart styles and choose one that you like. For example, you can show that your chart will look like style 44 and like this. Changing the layout. Now children, the layout tab allow you to add or change many chart components. The label group on the tab has five buttons. Chart title, access title, legend, data, data table and table and data table. Chart title. Chart title options are none, centered overlay, overlay title and above chart. Click above chart and the chart title text box will be added to the chart. You can double click on it and change the title. Access title. Access title allow you to add, to add titles along the x, x axis and the y axis. To add an x, x axis title, click the access title, primary horizontal access title, title below axis. The X axis title text box will appear. Double click on it and change the title to name. To add a Y axis title, click X axis title, primary vertical axis title, rotate title. The Y axis title text box will appear. Double click on it and change the title to marks. The chart will now look as shown in the figure. Okay, children? Now, legend. Legend means legend display a drop down list with many options. You can hide the legend by clicking none. Click legend, show legend at left. The legend will place to the left of the chart. Data labels. You can display the value of each column on the chart. Click data label and choose the label location. The chart will look as shown in the image. Data table. Now children, data table adds a table with the data to the chart. Click data table, show data table. The chart will look as shown in the given image. Grid lines. Now children, grid line in the axis group allow you to specify how grid lines should be displayed on the chart. Major grid lines are darker, grid lines at larger intervals. Minor grid lines are lighter and closer. Together, for both horizontal and vertical grid lines, the options available are none major grid lines, minor grid lines, and major and minor grid lines. Chart formatting. Now, children, commands for formatting text and numbers on the charts are available under the format tab. Click on the chart title to select it. Click text, fill in the word art style group, and select red color from the drop down color palette. Similarly, make the access title blue in color. Select the chart as the whole by clicking it. Click shape fill in the shape the style group and select a color from the drop down, drop down color palette. This will set the background color from the chart. Fill the chart group background. Fill the chart background with yellow color. This chart will show look as what you have see, what you can see in the image. Now children, open your textbook page number that it will be 54. Question number 1, filling the blanks with the correct word. A1, a dash is a pictorial representation of data. A chart, okay. B1, a dash chart shows changes over time interval. That is a line chart. C1, the dash axis is usually the horizontal axis of the chart. Category. 
D1, the dash area in the rectangular area bounded by two axes, that is a plot area. E1, data dash provides additional information about data markers, that is a label. Question number two, write T for the true statement and F for the false one. Choose the correct, choose, uh, correct the false statement. A1. If you change the data in the worksheet, it is automatically reflected in any chart based on that data. True. Pie charts are generally used to show trends over time. False. C1. A chart has to be on the same worksheet as the data. False. You cannot modify a data. False. E1. Each object in a chart can be individually selected and then formatted or edited. True. Question number three, write one word for the following. A chart that shows the relationship between two sets of numbers. That is a scatter plot. B1, the area within which all charts components are found. That is a chart area. C1, the data, the many data entries from which a chart is derived. That is a data series. D1, lines that run across the plot area from each category on the x-axis or each value on the y-axis. That is a grid lines. E1, it identifies each data series in a data, in a chart. That is a legend. Now let's move to the question fifth. Choose the correct option. Which chart type display data as a slice of a chart of a circle and shows the relationship of each value in a data series to the series as a whole one line chart two bar chart three column chart four pie chart so it's a four pie chart b1 which chart type often looks at data trends over a period of time one line chart two pie chart three area chart four scatter chart that is a one line chart C1, which tab do we get with chart tools? 1. Design layout format. 2. Design style layout. 3. Design format style. 4. Design shape style. That is a 1. Design layout format. D1, which chart element shows all the data values and categories? 1. Data maker. 2. Data table. 3. Data label. 4. Data point. That is a 3. Data label. E1, what do we mean? by the floor of a 3D chart, 1 x-axis, 2 y-axis, 3 xy plane, 4 plot area. So it's 3 plot xy plane, that is a 3 xy plane. F1, what do you see when you move a mouse over a chart object? 1 chart tip, 2 ch mouse tip, 3 screen tip, 4 keyboard tip, that is a 3 screen tip. G1, under which tab will you find ready-made chart style? 1 data, 2 design, 3 format, 4 insert. So it's 2 design. X1, under which tab will you find the X axis title button? 1 insert, 2 design, 3 layout, 4 format. That is a 3 layout.